Yes, my uh, son belonged to the National Guard and he, he uh, experienced um, a, a year in Iraq and uh, when he came back from Iraq, his company uh, sat him at a desk in a corner and gave him nothing to do. Um, he sent out resumes, uh, a hundred, over a hundred resumes. He could not get a job. He was forced to join the Army full-time. He's a major now. And um, he's in Afghanistan uh, for a year and a half. He left last May. And my grandson uh, joined the Army at 18. He also is in Afghanistan. Now, they've been there for 10 years. Uh, our forces have been there for 10 years. Isn't there time to bring them home? They have families. They need jobs when they get back. Where are the jobs going to come from if we don't allow our president to get the legislation passed? We have to have a middle class. We have to have a large middle class in order to bring stability to America because what's going on now is that we're just being robbed. And when somebody's salary is, you know, $25,000 a year, that was quoted yesterday on CNN, $25,000 a year, nobody can live on that. Nobody can buy a house. What are, what are these people supposed to do? And I think it's time for the young men or, who are in college why should they be paying all this money for tuition when education ought to be free in a democracy?